Hello guys, Cosmic Flame here today with another YouTube video, and today this is part two of the How to Make a Myth series, and um, I am back on the account Dark Hemic. And today, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own myth game, how to get all of that done, and uh, that's basically today's video, so let's get into this. So first of all, uh, you have to be on PC for this, you cannot develop on Roblox Studio using a mobile device, I apologize for that. So, um, first of all, you're going to go to develop, and on this develop page, you're going to have a game. Okay, I'm going to make mine kind of like the classic Roblox game, and first of all, you're going to have one place, it's going to be called whatever your username is, is place or whatever, and uh, you can either use this, or you can create a new one. I am going to be using this, but when you want to create a new one, you press create new game, and then you go ahead and you pick one of these. I highly recommend you pick flat terrain or base plate, as those are the best options. I'm going to be using this place called Doom. So before I start, I'm going to go ahead and configure start place. And I'm going to rename this to something. Um, let's just name it into a dot, okay? And right now the name doesn't matter because we're just creating the game. We'll get into naming, popularity, and all that next episode. But for now, let's get into creating the game, okay? So what you're going to want to do, go to develop. And when you see your game over here, you can press edit, and that will take you into Roblox Studio. And that's where we will see you next. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, I am back, and we are in studio. And this is the basic 2008 plane, as you can see here. And, um, I'm gonna try to get rid of all of this stuff and clear it out, because there's a house over here, and it's all classic 2008, uh, nostalgia stuff, okay. And, uh, people using the toolbox, uh, we're gonna try to refrain from using the toolbox that much, we'll use it, but we're gonna refrain from using it that much because of the amount of viruses as, uh, as have been noted by many people, there have been viruses in the toolbox that ruin your games, and we do not want that happening at all, so I'm just going to remove all of this stuff over here. Okay. And removing the sign. Oh, there's a little swing. I think I'm going to remove the swing as well. Okay. And I'm going to leave these trees here. These seem like, uh, it seems like a good idea to leave these trees. I'm going to try to find out which one's the log, and I seem to have found it, and actually the tree color seems to be the same, so I'm going to leave that alone, remove the signs, and basically it's just the house and the trees right now, and as you can see, uh, if I search up classic Roblox house and you guys want to add it in for yourselves, you can, it's right over here. You guys are normally going to have the base plate or terrain, as I said before, and this here is a spawn point where your character will spawn. And if we want to make that invisible, we go to View and then Properties, and we can go ahead and uh, pick the transparency and set it to 1. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you can also remove the decal, making it completely invisible, but that is where the player will spawn. Okay, So what I'm going to do is copy these trees, control C, and I'm going to control V them, okay? I'm going to try to get these trees to go around, and if you want to put in trees yourself, you can search up trees. I suggest using the pine tree, as it is a builder's choice, and does not have any viruses on it, and I'm just going to control C, control V this, and I'm going to cover the map with these trees. Let me speed this up for you guys. So make sure to go into model and set the rotate and uh, move to zero, so you'll be able to move more efficiently.
Okay, now that we have all the trees placed, I'm going to select all of these trees and I'm going to right click and then press group. And you guys should be able to see that on your screen. And once they are grouped, um, I am going to head into lighting and see what I can do about the sun rays. Actually, never mind lighting. Hey, give me a second, guys. I just inserted smoke. I think that might work. Nope. Never mind. Okay, so what you guys want to do is search up smoke or fog. Um, see if smoke. No, that's too deep. I'm just going to go ahead and search up fog. And uh, see if there's good fog. Okay, this seems like good fog, so I'm going to place that in here. What you're going to want to do is press the scale tool. Using the scale tool, um, spread it out from each end of the map, this end to the other, and spread it out, and make it tall enough so that it goes up into the sky a bit. Okay. So what we're going to do now is, as you can see, try to change the sky box as we can't see the fog properly because it looks like day. And if you want, you can go into properties, mess around with the fog's uh, rate, and how large the spread is to make it more foggy and stuff. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is select the creepy skybox, as you can see, you can see it in the background. Uh, one second. I don't know if you can see this right now, but I'm going through the settings. I have it set to streaming this tab, that's why you can't see when I right click and stuff. But uh, what, what I'm gonna do is pick creepy skybox, which is already here, you can just search up skybox and look for one that you like, but this one looks good enough to me. Yeah, this looks pretty good. And, um, as you can see, you can kind of see the fog now in the sky. It's kind of moving and stuff, generating. And now I'm going to search up barrier and try to find a barrier. So, um, normally you're going to find barriers like that, but here's barrier too. I'm going to use this and, uh, press F to get close to it. And I'm going to move it down. Seems to be the perfect size for our map move it down properly, uh, lag, aye aye aye, perfect, and now we have a basic myth map, and this is basically what you need to start out, uh, next episode we're gonna get into more advanced stuff for your map to make it look better, like fire, NPCs, other stuff like that, and start putting in clues, hope you guys enjoyed this video, peace out, until next time guys, have a good, uh, have a good day.